Welcome, Jean. Welcome back, Jean. Oh, teacher. You're the first one. The Klingo maybe has some problem. Yeah, there's a problem. Why? Mm. The verb side in the Klingo doesn't uh, open. Oh, it doesn't open. Yeah, there's a problem. I, I realized that. Let's hope we have some more students coming now. Oh, I like this class. You yeah, are the only one student. <laughs> you are only teaching me. Yeah, that'll you be are good. my private tutor. <laughs> okay, let me just see but, something. Uh, just uh, for free. Okay, one <laughs> sec. For free, yeah, you know, things are going to change soon, so... Uh, mm. uh, just give me a second. Uh, Oh, do we have oh, any more students? Here we go, Johnny. Hey man, how's it going? Hi, good, how are you going? Look, I think I'm going to have to start another quick, because I think a lot of students are joining from, they're joining from Colingo. Just give me a second. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm actually, hold on, what, one, one second, one second, maybe I can do something about it. No, maybe we can stay in this one. Mm, let's try something. Yeah, one second. I'm trying to get the guys to come in because there's a little bit of a problem with, with uh, Colingo. Okay, okay. I've got the Colingo going, so hopefully they can all join us here. Yes. Hello, Mahmoud. Ahlan wa sahlan. Here we go. Now we have everyone joining. Oh, it's great. Hello, sir, again. Hi, welcome back. Hello. I'm, I'm not late for the class now. That's good. Now you're on time. Did you guys all uh, come from the Colingo? Yeah, you joined from the Colingo, not the Facebook. Yeah, I think so. Okie dokie. Okay. Oh, that was quick, full class. Woohoo! That was the <laughs> fastest. So I'm very happy now. Yeah. Uh, I okay. think login to the hangout. It this game is called fastest fingers first. What? To get Sorry? the hangout, to come in the class, to get uh, to get admit in the class, to come in the class. This game is called fastest fingers first. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's strange. Like in the quizzes, you know. Like in, like we oh, need yes, to watch. Yes, yes. We need to, we need to keep on watch. The link is going to open. The link is going to open. Ah, I see, I see. So you have to keep refreshing, maybe the screen. Yeah, and, yeah, understand, yeah. understand. Ah, I see. Okay, guys, I think we've all pretty much introduced each other. We all know each other, but there I think some... there's a few. Maybe that haven't. There's Johnny and uh, Jose Luis. You just Mahmoud. joined. Hello, Mahmoud. I think those those are the new ones. So and uh, I can see there are some guys uh, in the lobby who are trying to join. And Dr. Serene, hello. Uh, sorry, guys. <laughs> You're a bit, you just missed out. It's the class is already full. But anyways, you were too late. Uh, yeah. Students. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Today we have a vocab class. Uh, before we do get into the actual class, let's hear something about our, <clears throat> our newcomers. Um, Edward Freeman, how are you? I'm good. Excellent. Do you wanna? Do you wanna have a? Uh, do you want to briefly introduce yourself, please? Just say who you are, where you're from, and uh, yeah. Sure, so sure. To know. Okay, so um, I'm Edward Freeman, and I'm living, I'm currently living in the Philippines, and I'm a freelance writer. 
Are you a freelance writer? Mm. That's pretty cool. So what do you write? What do you oh, like to write? I, I usually write about travel, tech, mm -hmm. and education. That's it. I see, I see. That's pretty cool. Okay. Uh, is this the first time I have you in my class? You joined the previous class, but I think you dropped out. Yeah, because of some internet connection issues. I, mm. I need to fix my internet connection. Okay, no problem. I tried, okay, I tried to, to join the class, but I can't do it. Thank you. Mm. Okay, no problem. Okay, and Johnny. Hello, bro. Hi. How are you? Um, very well. Let us know something about yourself. Okay. My name is Johnny. I live in Sao Paulo, Brazil. I am 18 years old. I am a student. Okay, so you're still a student. Okay, that's good. Sao Paulo. Uh, yeah. how, how, how's the situation in Sao Paulo now? There's a lot of protests going on. Has uh, it improved? Uh, very good right now. But the protests continue, but in the Pacific way. You know, so mm. the situation it's changed because the president uh, uh, invited the, the protest to to talk and decide new uh, solutions for the problems who it's happening in Brazil right now. You know, so I see. Mm. Well, let's hope things get get better there. Thank you. Okay. Uh, welcome to class, uh, Johnny. And then we have okay, Jose Jose Luis. Welcome back. Hello. Hello. Thank you. I'm here one more time. <laughs> yes, that's, that's great. But just say something about yourself, like where you're from and what you do uh, for the sake of the other students that don't know you. Okay. Uh, hello for everyone. I'm from Spain. I just finished my uh, studies. I, I, I made a uh, uh, environmental and science, and I'm in holidays right now. In holidays, excellent. That's great. Um, all right, welcome, Walk, welcome, Jose. Um, thank you for the brief intro, uh, Mahmoud. Yes. <coughs> can you hear me? Yes, yes, we can hear you perfectly. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, all right, I'm Mahmoud. I'm uh, from Cairo, from Egypt. Cairo is the capital of Egypt. Uh, I'm graduated from two faculties. Uh, the first one, which is Faculty of Arts, Mass Communication Department, Public Relations Section. Then I joined Faculty of Education, English Department, and I graduated from the second one as well. Uh, I'm 27 years old. Uh, what else? Yes, I'm working as a telesales agent for United for United Kingdom people. Mm, that's all. Oh, mashallah, you've, you've done quite a lot. You're, you're still <laughs> 27. Yes. That's, that's great, that's awesome. Uh, how's the situation in Egypt? How's the, the protests? I've seen the news Actually, you know, uh, um, the military leader doesn't like um, the, mo the Islamic movement and uh, he make like a commitment between him and uh, the opposition uh, mm. and with some other uh, foreign, uh, foreign, uh, foreign leaders and uh, he tried to make, uh, you know, I don't know what it's meaning in English, it's inqalab in Arabic or something which uh, to, to remove your president your legal president in order to, to, to make or to create a new situation uh, and right now uh, right now you know there is some uh, some actions which happened in Sinai and uh, all of us uh, pray for Allah in order to in order to bring peace again and in order in order to to put us in uh, better conditions you know mm, yeah I hope things work out for the best uh, uh, you know, people have, have gone through a lot there. I mean, when I was in Egypt uh, about, um, you know, a, more than a year ago. Really? Uh, cause I, I, yeah, I was in Egypt for two years. Uh, I spent there, uh, I was teaching English there. Throughout yeah. the, the whole, uh, the first revolution they had, it was quite difficult, uh, but we all survived, you know. Yeah. So now they're having another revolution. Yeah. 
another protest, Actually, you know, so it, it, it's kind of difficult for them. But it's not a revolution right now because what's happening is there is two parties, some with uh, against and some with, and it's something which is, you know, a, a d division in the society itself mm, uh, because okay. uh, some against, yes, some against and some with, and there is a, a legal, uh, a legal uh, president who who was elected by by a free elections and he won he, i think in my opinion that he has to to complete his four years and after four years if, if you don't like him you can choose another one you know but yeah, what happening right yes but what happening right now that they kill democracy which they believe in actually i'm I, i'm as mahmoud i i don't i don't believe in democracy but right now you you enforced me to go in that way or in that path and i won mm. right now because mm. i i i won and you don't like my way right now you you yourself disbelieve in the, in democracy you know yeah, yes uh, but, but, but we hope a, that Allah. yeah Hopefully we hope improve, yeah. Yes, we too. And uh, actually, uh, all Egyptians are proud that you uh, you visited them one day. Oh uh, yes, of course. The Egyptian people—they're very nice people. I experienced that, and um, hopefully you. things will get better. It's a very sensitive issue, you know, and um, yes, uh, they just course. have to be patient. You know? It will take time, you know, for, for things to get better. And change. Okay. Thank you, Mahmoud. Thank you very much. All You're right, most guys, Okay, guys, let's let's get into the class. Um, Sorry, the guys, class. I've been to the grocery store. I was buying milk and butter for my brother. Ah, oh, no problems. Are you back with us? Yeah, I'm back. Excellent, no problem. Uh, do I need to introduce myself, sir? Would you like to? Uh, uh, yes, actually, go ahead. I, yes, I don't think. Yeah. Yes, please, please. I, I don't think you had the chance to introduce yourself earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, go hi, ahead, guys. Please. My name. Uh, hi guys, my name is Navjot Singh. I'm from India and I'm a graphic designer. I do illustrations and portfolio designs and website designs. And uh, I'm working for an American company right now. And uh, I want to be a game developer or a designer. So for the same, I'm going to join a Canadian college that is uh, uh, George Brown College in Toronto uh, in 2004 in Jan January. For the same, I'm preparing for my IELTS uh, test. For a good scores, that's why I'm here in Klingo, Kalingo, mm -hmm. and it's good. It's really good to be here. That's great. Well, hopefully you can all go, you can all stay with us uh, in in the near future. That's great. Thank you, uh, Navjot. Navjot. Yeah, is that correct? You, yeah, class? it's Navjot yeah. Singh. Yeah. Navjot Singh. Okay. Thank you so much. Welcome uh, to the class. Yeah, sir. Are you from G UK? Uh. I'm living in the UK currently. Yeah, I'm uh, from Australia. Yeah. So you must yeah. have seen so many Sikhs over there. Yeah, there are quite a few. There's quite a few here. Yes, especially yeah, in London. Uh, I'm, in I'm a Sikh. Yeah. Okay, I see. Ah, uh, yeah, there's quite a few. I'm actually living in Northern Ireland, so there's not many here. You know. Uh, yeah. Majority are in England itself, in mainland England, uh, like. Yeah, London, they Bur they are, they have majority in South Hall, in England. Yes. London. Yeah. They have a lot of lot of uh, communities there. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, I'm from Australia, and in Australia we have a few Sikhs there as well. Uh, but originally, my parents are from Bosnia, so uh, oh. neighbor neighbors with uh, Bogdan, pretty much. Yeah. Macedonia. Yes. Yeah. I know about so, it. So yeah, my 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 parents are from Bosnia. All right, all right, guys. Let's begin the class, shall we? We are okay. already twenty minutes into it. Let's get cracking. So I'm gonna share a screen. Okay. All right, guys. I'll make it. I'll, I'll make it larger. Don't worry. Can you give us the link actually of the site? Okay. Do you want it right now? Actually, I think I'll give it to you after because after we go through this, I want to go through the whole vocabulary list with you guys okay. and then do and do a quick uh, exercise after that. So I'd like us to sort of be going on the same pace, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. same speed. Because if I give it to you, some of you guys might go ahead, you know, might look at the mm -hmm. exercises. So, that's okay. yeah, let's okay. let's move as a team, and then we'll complete. Please remind me again. Remind me at the end of the class to give you the link. Okay. 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 All right. Is that large enough? Can you see that now? Yeah. Perfect. All right. So the vocabulary that we're going to be doing now and focusing on is related to culture. 
All right. So, culture. Who can give me a brief description of culture? Sorry, Ali. I can see the 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 page. Okay. Yes, I can. I culture can. Culture is in some way identification for some nations or societies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got to do with society. Yep. Yeah. Uh, sorry, some of you guys said you can't see. Can you see now? Yes. Yeah, we can see now. Yes. Yeah, there's a small delay sometimes. Depends on the internet connection. Yeah. Hopefully, you can see it now. Okay. Yes, that's good. Well done. Well done. So I I'll. Uh, yes, my Yes, I think. Yes, I think culture is the, the reflection of the education and the, of the of the manner of uh, of believing and the, the manner of behaving for any uh, for any society uh, and it uh, distinguishes uh, a specific society from another one. Yes. Yes. Well done. Uh, well, well, well described. It's a, it, it's a tradition. Mm, it's got it's got many things to do with culture. Yeah, there are many many. Um, uh, Factors that go into culture uh, describe culture. Yes, uh, I want to. Uh, yeah, I want to describe about something like Indian culture because we are having so many regi uh, regions in India, mm. about like uh, uh, more than about twenty regions in India, and uh, we are wow. speaking thirteen more than thirty languages in India in one time in a, in a one city, you know. And uh, mm. if we go through uh, one to another state, language gonna be changed. And that's kind of, uh, kind of uh, quite interesting. And uh, mm. about the culture, I think the way of the living of the people in a group, and to follow the tradition, to follow the way of they they are like clothing, they are uh, cooking, they are uh, dancing, include everything, folk songs mm. and traditional tribe, uh, uh, you know, rule and regulations. And uh, in India, the people are very much you know wor worshiping the god. We have so many, like more than 32 lakh gods in Hinduism, mm. and uh, so this this all includes uh, about our culture, like what we're doing, the way of the living of the people. Mm. You're right. Yes, that that's well well described. Yeah. So it's it's amazing, isn't it? How you know culture is so diverse uh, when yeah. it comes to the global. You know, we're mm. looking at a global scheme. Uh, let's get somebody to read this. Uh, Abdul Aziz, welcome. You just joined us, I believe. Hello, Abdulaziz. Okay, Abdulaziz seems to have a problem. Can you, can you hear me, Abdulaziz? Okay. Okay, maybe Bogdan, do you want to read the, this paragraph, please? Okay. Uh, culture can be defined uh, as all the ways of life included arts, beliefs, uh, and intu intuitions. Of a population, institutions. institutions yes. of a population that are passed down from generation to generation. Culture has been called the way of life for our entire society. As much as such, uh, it includes codes of manners, dress, language, religion, rituals, games, norms of behavior uh, such as law and mor morality and systems of behavior as well as the art. Well done. Well read. Okay, and are there any words in here that you guys don't understand? I can quickly touch no. upon. Okay, so this is a, a brief description. I think all you guys are on the same page. You understand what it actually means. Yeah. Yeah. So, the next would be cultured. Cultured. Okay, cultured means showing good taste or manners. So, when somebody is cultured, means they've been brought up well. They have good manners or maybe good taste in something, you know? Yeah. Okay, so when somebody's uh, well cultured means they are they have uh, good manners. Okay? They have good manners. They have a good way yeah. to live. And yeah. they behave good. nice. And they're usually nice to interact with. Uh, they're very cultured, you know, they're very yeah. uh, you know, good with people maybe, okay? So Okay, next we have belief. What's belief? Sorry? Belief. What's the meaning of the word belief? Somebody give me a quick 
in brief uh, meaning of belief. Jose, believing is trusting that something that is existing. You believe in something. Yes, to believe in something. Mm. In a religion, uh, God. To trust that something is existing. Yes, Exist. yes. If you if it's a religion, then you believe in, in a creator. Or you believe in a God. Yeah. And you can also have belief in in something else. Um, Science, for example. Know. Yeah. Like for example, if if your uh, if your culture says that this is the God and we need to worship it, so it's gonna be a belief for you also. Yes. And you have to believe it, right? Yeah, you have to believe believe it. Yeah. yeah. Can I give uh, another another definition? Yes. Sure. Uh, I, I, yes, I think uh, belief is uh, is a, an information or um, a piece of information or uh, like an idea which you trust in and you're not going to change it. Yes. It yes. might be, yeah. Usually that's the case, yeah. But uh, it can be changed, but usually when you believe in something, that's it, you have firm beliefs. Okay, you're, yes. That, Depends yes, on what are you believe in. It basically means that you're convinced. You're convinced in something, in something uh, yeah. and you yeah. believe in that. Yeah. But That's I good. think it's it's a, in a higher in a higher grade from uh, from convince, uh, convincing. You know. Yeah. You can absolutely. convince with something, but when you believe in it, you are in in a strong uh, relationship with it. You know. Absolutely. Yeah. That's good. Okay. Yes. Let's get uh, Edward. Edward, would you like to read, please? The three okay. sentences, yep. Because I can't see it. You see now? You have to wait a few seconds. I think if the, if everyone else can uh, if we can mute our microphones and then there would there would be no interference and hopefully there is no delay or lag. And only if you want to say something you, you quickly, oh, you know, okay. switch the microphone on again. I think that's I the best. I have advice okay. for those who can't see. Uh, Can I read now? At the upper uh, yes, just part one of the screen, advice. next to the camera, you yeah. have adjust bandwidth usage. Okay. Just uh, decrease it for the users who can't see it. Or decrease it for those who cannot see it. Yeah. Decrease. Oh, and, that, and that actually improves it, yeah? Yeah. It worked oh. for me like in less before too, yeah. Okay. Studies. Excellent. Okay, so those guys thanks. Have yeah, thanks, Bogdan. I was searching for it. Yeah, Bogdan, yeah. that's excellent uh, advice. So if you have problems, there is a, a, a quick tab next to the video at the top right. It's called uh, Adjust Bandwidth bandwidth Usage. So click yeah. on it and bring it down a little bit, okay? So go ahead, uh, Edward. No, what number is it again? Uh, belief. Just read the three sentences below belief. Okay. First, the mental act, condition, or habit of placing trust or confidence in another. My belief in you, my belief in you is as strong as ever. That's an example. Mm -hmm. Number two, mental, oh, mental acceptance of and conviction in the truth, actuality. Oh my God, I have some problem seeing the viewing the actuality or validity of something. For example, his explanation of what happened defies belief. Number three. Something believed or accepted as true, especially a particular tenet or a body of tenet accepted by a group of persons. Excellent. Well done. Well read, uh, Edward. That's pretty good. Thank okay. you. Yeah. Very, very good pronunciation. Uh, so, it's pretty straightforward, yeah? We know what a belief is now. Okay. Let's move on to the next. Uh, yes? What Dr. Is the defy. Defy. Defy meaning. Defy. Uh, one second. Where is defy? Oh, defies belief. Okay, his explanation of what happened defies belief. Who knows what, what in this sentence defies means? Describe or, or define. Mm -hmm. Anyone? I think it refers. Refers to, refers to, yeah, defies it, means refers to something. Would, would don't it, appeal. Don't appeal. Yes, well done, John. So it's like the, the opposite, really. It's like you're resisting belief. You're refusing Resist. to. 
you're refusing to believe. It's the opposite. Oh, so, uh, on the contrary. Yeah, the contrary of the belief. Yeah, so it does not believe. Oh, tenant. Tenant. Number three, tenant. Particular, particular tenant. Ah. Tenant. Yes. What's a tenant? What? Tenant. Yeah. For example. Yes. Well done. Potential. Trump. Yeah. It's like a principle of belief. A principle. I think belief. it's just a synonym of belief. Yeah. It's it's like a synonym. It could be a synonym. Um. Uh. Wait. A tenant is like a part of belief. You know. Mm-hmm. Like a principle. Yeah. Okay, Doctor Doctor Ma. Doctrine. Hmm. Well done. Okay, let's move on to ethics. Ethics. All right. All right. I'm gonna read this. So, a system of accepted beliefs, which control behavior, especially such as or such a such a system based on morals. Mm. Right. Something doesn't make sense. Right. So, ethics. Uh, uh, yeah, is a system of accepted beliefs. Uh, which control behavior. All right. So when you believe in something, that actually affects the way you live your life, the way you behave, the way you act. Yeah, the way you act and and um, deal with people and and the environment. And it's based on morals. Yeah. Okay. So that's ethics. Did we, did we know that before, or is that new to us? We've met before. Yeah, I I've think met before. most of us have come across this word, yeah. ethics. Yeah. Okay, values. Hmm. Okay, what are values, guys? Hello, Dr. Sireen, welcome. Hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Okay, uh, I'm gonna jump right at you. What, do you, what, what's your understanding of values when it comes to culture? Something yeah. precious. Values, Something worth it. Uh, I don't know. I think uh, each uh, society has uh, has values. Okay. Oh, and each culture also ha- has values. Well done. I think values like is the tradition. basis of an ethical action. Okay, yeah. That's good. Yeah, so it's got it's related to beliefs, right? Something which is um, I don't know, teacher, I hear another sound. Yeah, are are you know. talking to me or what? Uh no, I'm, I'm just talking in general. I don't know where the noise is coming from. Yeah, guys, we need to keep our microphones muted if possible. Yeah, keep your microphones muted so uh, we can all hear each other. Oh, somehow I can hear noise from somebody else. Abdulaziz, are you there? Oh, yes, you are. You don't have a microphone? Yes. Yes, I'm oh, here. Oh, yes. oh, you're here. Hello. I'm here. I'm here yes. That's good. Uh, okay, I don't know where the noise is coming from. There's a slight noise in the background. Uh, maybe, I don't know, if we can mute the microphones if we're not speaking, I think it would be better. Okay. All right, anyways. So, values. Beliefs of a person or social group in which they have an emotional investment. So either for for or against something, he has very conservative values. Should be without an S. So he has very conservative values. Conservative. What's what's conservative mean? In this case, something keep or yeah close traditional. traditional yes traditional values. Yes, excellent. Like more traditional, you know. Uh, it's aged, perhaps. It's you know. Okay, who doesn't really want to change or innovate? Okay, so <clears throat> that's basically what values is. Okay, guys, can we move on? Yep. Right, civilization. Doctor Sirin, here's a chance again. Yeah. 
civilization. What, what do you understand by? Yeah. What do you under, understand by civilization? I mean, the different ethnies. They were. Uh, what's the sound? <laughs> Yo, go ahead. Okay, I I know that uh, uh, there are many civilizations uh, by, by the ages. There were many civilizations, civilizations like Romans, uh, like Islamic. Islamic civilization, uh, many Egyptians. civilizations, and they had, uh, they yeah, Egyptians. They had uh, um, uh, specific values. Uh, they were uh, so, uh, uh, they they were so creative. They mm. uh, they uh, they what do you call? It? They uh, established uh, things or uh, we, uh, that we are based on it. If, mm. uh, maybe many things that they did, if they they are remembered did, for that. We can approve them. What? So they've established things which we in the in the future now can remember them about. Yeah. 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 Okay, that's great. Yes. Yeah. So, so the social process whereby societies achieve an advanced stage of development and organization. Yeah. So it's development and organization. Okay, uh, Jose, did you want to say something? I thought you wanted to say something as well. Something about civilization? No, yeah, just say that I want to say. Okay, that's good. Uh, okay, Cult cultural specificity. Uh, specificity. Yeah. <laughs> specificity. <laughs> I'll specificity. I'll teach her. It's a tongue twister. You don't know the pronunciation oh, word. I'm very happy. Specificity. It's pretty hard to <laughs> pronounce, right? No. Oh. I'm very happy. <laughs> you see what happens? Even it happens with teachers. You are this is a lady with speaker. <laughs> you all don't know how to pronounce this word. I'm very happy. <laughs> oh my god. Can you believe that? Specificities. Huh? Okay, who can say it? Me. Oh, I'm very happy. Specificities. Huh? Specificities. <laughs> Specificities. Specificities. Yeah, specificities. <laughs> that's that's a word and a half for me. That's 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 a bit um yeah. I I, I know the word. It's just that I haven't said that for. Ever maybe. Specificities. Specificities. I think it's when just... you are when you are study in the college, you are don't uh, work hard. I didn't work hard. <laughs> yeah, perhaps I was a bit lazy. I should have learned a bit more uh, uh, vocabulary. Uh, specificities, right? Okay, guys. So, what's cultural specificities? It means the feature of a civilization or a society. Okay. Yeah. So it's like the quality of being specific rather than general. Yeah. Like unique for any culture, unique. Yes. 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 Well done. The distinctiveness uh, so, of a particular culture. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. So it's interesting to learn about cultural cultural specificities of other countries. Yeah. Something which they're really uh, they they special qualities, you know. Um, yeah. Who? Yeah. Who? Can anyone give me an example? About. Can anyone give me an example of a certain uh, cultural? Teacher, can't I? Can't I? Yes, go ahead. You know Filipino culture. Chinese character. Chinese character is a uh, unique. Chinese character is a uh, different. Uh, is a different uh, from Western natives. I didn't understand what you're saying, sorry, can you repeat that? I say Chinese characters. Oh, the Chinese characters, yeah. 
Oh. Yes, absolutely. Mm. So that's unique to Chinese culture, yeah? The the literature. For instance, yeah, yeah. the traditional traditional dance of every country. Something like Turkish tea. Okay. Or coffee. Yeah, I British see. tea. Yes, yes, that's good. That's good, Bogdan. Wow. Yeah. In Spain, what about Spain? What do we have? What's the specificity Tacos. of Spain? Of Spain. Uh, for instance, uh, uh, the, the dance of uh, each uh, re regions. Oh yes. In, in the south of Spain, for instance, is the, the flamenco. Ah, yeah. So originated from there. Yes, that's good. And what about Brazil, Johnny? Any? What's the? Yes. The coffee. Um, yes, the coffee is a good one. Yeah, Brazilian coffee. I agree. Mm. Yeah. Maybe samba. Because what about the oh, samba? Yes. Samba, yes. carnival, and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. So this is, uh, I think, one of the specificity of of Brazil. And what about India, uh, Doctor Mal Singh? In India, in our culture, there is a um, Bhangra dance by men and clapping and dance by ladies <laughs> on the song. Okay, so I see that. That's very. That's for the Indian culture. Okay, that's good. So we understand this now. Specificity, yeah. Yes. Okay, let's do uh, cultural acceptance. What do we understand by that? Culture, culturally acceptable. Something that the culture accepts, but not other other cultures things from other culture. Yes. Who can give me an example? Okay. For example, yeah. Yes, go ahead. For example, Christian and Muslim religion. Uh, I know that in the holy book of Quran, right? If I'm not wrong, yes. uh, it said that yeah, Muslims right. don't need, are not allowed to drink alcohol, right? And yep. in uh, Christianity is not prohibited. I don't know. That's some uh, acceptable. Mm. For example, we accept the alcohol and the Muslims don't. Or, mm -hmm. I'm right, right. Yes. Yeah. That's that's all to do with religion. But if you, for example, visit yeah. a, a Muslim Muslim country, let's say maybe Saudi Arabia, uh, yeah. it's not. It's culturally unacceptable yeah. to drink alcohol in public. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what you're trying to say. Excellent. Yeah. 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 So, it is yeah, not culturally, a, yeah, or in Syria and any Muslim country, really, you know. Yeah. Um, so it would not be culturally acceptable to do that, to do a certain action in public. It's socially right? not unacceptable, actually. Yes. In this case, yeah. it's culturally. I think, uh, but, I, think yeah. it, I think it varies from one country to another. Yeah. Yeah. So there's, there are other things which can vary. Well done, Edward. Yeah, for example, uh, the teacher knows he's from Bosnia. I don't know if he grew up. Uh, yep. You know, here in Balkan, the alcohol is like a tradition, right? On every yeah. celebrity, there is drinking. Yes. You know, yeah, I was there for, for quite a few years. Yeah, yeah so, yeah. So, for example, there are certain things, like Edward said, uh, there are certain things which are acceptable in certain countries, and in other countries, it's not. Like here, the example we have, uh, it's you, it's it isn't culturally acceptable in some countries to blow your nose in public places. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so I don't know whether maybe Japan. I'm not sure. Yeah, China. Uh, also. Or China. I'm not sure which ones, but some some countries that's not acceptable, and others it's fine. You know, so it varies from culture to culture. So cultural cultural acceptance, this is where this comes in place. So we all understand that, yeah? All right, let's go next. Cultural conflicts. Hmm. So we should try hard to avoid cultural conflicts as they are a result of a misunderstanding. So what's a conflict? What's a conflict? A war between a fight between the two countries. Or something between two countries, sorry. A fight, not a war. Yeah, they're not necessarily a fight, but it's um, 
but something which is in disagreement. Yeah, which yeah disagreement go... or yeah. argument. Yeah. Argue yeah, about so. something. Yeah, maybe something yeah, which doesn't this go is very well. Very evident nowadays. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Hmm. So, can anyone give me an example of a cultural conflict in 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 one country, and what the actual conflict is? Hmm. I don't know. The conflicts between uh, Israel and Palestine, maybe. That's a war. That's not for culture, I think. Uh, yeah, the the conflicts there, but we're talking about like a cultural conflict, something to do yeah. with culture, which conflicts. So, for example, uh, maybe one culture practices a certain uh, practice, and yeah. and then you're living in another country where that practice is not, is not yeah not welcomed. It's not welcomed, and so they don't not acceptable. There's a, conf there's a conflict there, you know, or there might be a misunderstanding, you know. Uh, yeah. Or certain practices, you know, certain things that uh, you know a person might do from a different country, and just because you haven't seen that practice before, there's a misunderstanding. You get, oh, why did that's so bad? You know, why did they do that? Um, it seems weird like, to you, actually. Like for example, uh, I don't know. I'm gonna something pops to my mind. Uh, let's say. Uh, Maybe in the West, in America or in in in, uh, in the UK, um, there are certain ways, from an Islamic perspective. How about divorce? Sorry. Yes, Edward. Let's take for instance. Let's take for instance divorce. Uh, can I something? Yeah, divorce. divorce. Legal. It could be. Yeah. Yeah, uh, divorce may be some. Divorce okay. may be legal in America, but I think in other countries it's not. No, it's everywhere. Oh, I see. It's legal yes, everywhere. Yes. So for yeah, yeah. That, that's something like let's say marriage. Let's talk yeah. about marriage. Okay, maybe. Uh, not let's say hom ho Okay, this is gonna be uh, uh, a sensitive topic. A sensitive, right? sensitive topic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Some of us, some of us might agree, some might disagree. So I don't know. Let's not have the other opinions, okay? But let's just say, let's okay, highlight yeah. the actual cultural conflict. So, for example, uh, in the West, now it's uh, homosexuality and uh, yeah. homosexual marriage is becoming uh, legal, popular. It's being legalized, Prevalent. yeah. Right. So. Back in the past, let's say maybe less than 100 years. years ago, yeah, maybe 50 years ago or so, that wasn't really practiced. That was never, it was, it, culturally, culturally that wasn't uh, happening, right? So anyways, now it, it's happening, but in still in some other countries, it's not practiced and it's not allowed. So there's that cultural difference, right? So when somebody who practices that or believes in that, moves to a country where it's forbidden or it's not practiced or it's not legalized there's a cultural conflict you see yeah okay. so there is an opinion uh, and there's a misunderstanding perhaps so okay Jean yes a uh, teacher I'll give you a good example okay Chinese people eating food in the public they often speak loudly together, but uh, in the Western country, people eat food quietly in the public. Sorry? Yeah, yeah, Do you me... understand? No, I didn't quite get it, no. Oh, oh. Chinese people eat food in the public. They often speak loudly. I see. They talk oh. loudly, but uh, in Western country people, they eat food uh, quietly mm. in the public. Yeah, that's a, oh. actually, that's a very good example. Yes, that's a good example mm. used. Yeah. So when we all got to eat, and uh, in the Chinese culture, you know, when they eat, sometimes they speak up loud, it's, it's very noisy, and it's normal. 
but then in the West, perhaps it's not like that. You know, when people are eating, they, uh, <laughs> they, they tend to just oh. eat and uh, maybe not speak as much. You know, so it's a different. There's a cultural conflict there, perhaps. So maybe if, if it's a Chinese uh, family uh, eating in the public in America, uh, you know, they would perhaps have a loud conversation. Some American. Uh, you know, citizens or, or people that are eating there at this in, in, a, in a near, near to them, they might not <laughs> like that. You know, they yeah, might they're be, disturbed. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. So there's that slight conflict there. That's that's good point. Yeah. All right, let's, let's do this. Yeah, go ahead, quick. I give a larger example. Some oh, rich Chinese, some rich, some rich Chinese people went to French. Luxury store, they buy these things like uh, buying vegetables. They yeah. speak loudly and loudly. <laughs> I see <laughs> that's at, at the markets. Yes, at the markets. That's excellent. Thank you very much. Well, that's a good point again. Okay, so cultural stereotypes. What's a stereotype? Someone that is denying something. Similarities? I like think stereotyping mm -hmm. or pattern. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Big idea, yeah. Yeah. I think it's about gender. It's about everything, almost everything. Mm-hmm. So who can give me a I'm quick? I'm sorry. Uh, Yes, I'm so teacher. My internet is giving me problem. No problems. It's fine. It happens sometimes. You drop out, and you can hopefully join again. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So here we say a fixed idea that people have about yeah. what someone or something is like, right? Especially an idea that is wrong. So cultural stereotypes make our understanding. Of other cultures, difficult. Yeah, this is yeah. quite common, especially nowadays. I think the, one of the very common stereotypes is to do with Muslims, for example. Yeah. You know, in the media, you see everybody think that they are radicals. Yeah, they're all trying to say that all Muslims are terrorists and yep. radicals and whatnot. I mean, it's it's very stereotypical. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's wrong because wrong you cannot ge you cannot generalize you cannot generalize a whole people, a whole society. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. absolutely. I yeah. totally yeah. agree. Yeah, with yeah. You. because one or two guys, all the yeah, all the community got blamed. Exactly. You know? Yeah, because yeah. there, I mean, there are black sheep in every community. You know, there are black sheep. Yeah, in every yeah, community. yeah absolutely. So just because that one. Idiot did something stupid, you know. Now the whole community yeah. gets to suffer. It's 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 very it's, bad. It's, it's that's affected. a stereotype. Or yeah, so for you're... example, uh, hackers. Uh, there is yeah. that anonymous, but I am an ethical hacker. For example, I don't break into accounts. They all think that a hacker is someone who breaks into some accounts, Facebook accounts, ML accounts, that mm -hmm. kind of shit. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some are like unknown people to the uh, PC generation. They have just only one definition yeah. for the hackers. That hackers can do only the bad things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Yeah, that's a good point as well. Yeah, excellent. Yeah. So we understand stereotypes now, yeah? Yeah. Excellent. Let's move on. Uh, cultural diversity. What's diversity? Differences. Uh, yeah. Uh, the convivence yeah. of uh, some culture in in one country or one zone. Yeah. Uh, it's like cultural diversity. Like, uh, for example, my country we have so many kind of human like diversity. You know, um, mm. uh, diversity. Like one state to another. If we move on in the country, so you're gonna find new culture, new human societies. Yes. Yeah, that's it. So a diversity, uh, basically, in Australia, where I was spending most of my life and where I'm from, um, there's a big cultural diversity there. Uh, okay, we have people from all walks of life, from all sorts of uh, backgrounds. So we have all cultures there. It's a oh, very yeah, diverse. Oh. It's a very diverse society. All right. So the fact or quality of cultures of being diverse or different. 
right? Cultural diversity should be considered as a source of enrichment rather a source of conflicts. Yeah? yeah. So we should look at cultural diversity as a positive, not a negative. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah, you have yeah. maybe sometimes you find people in certain countries or there's oh there's too many foreigners in in, in, a, in my country, you know, I, I want them out of here. Leave our country, go back to where you came from. You have some you know racist people like that. But they don't understand that a lot of the uh, the development of that cut of that country has come through cultural diversity. You know? Yeah, so for example right. in the yeah in, in the UK Let's say there's a lot of uh, subcontinental um, people here, like from India, from Pakistan, from Bangladesh, you know, Sri Lanka. So, and they've, they've been here for gener for for a long time, you know, since the English went went, went to India, you know, and they were colonizing it. So now they've in, um, integrated within the, the the British society and have brought many positives along. I mean the spice, the spices and the food is just one to mention. Yeah, you know I mean? it's from India. I, mean, yeah. I, I, I think the the British food is it's okay, nothing fabulous. But yeah. yeah, how many great restaurants do we have here? It's 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 like, you know that I know. Somebody told me this. You know Tom Cruise. Yes, sir. Yes. You know the yes. actor Tom Cruise, right? He has. Uh, he loves. Yeah, he loves his his uh, his Indian cuisine. He loves the Indian food, and oh, yeah. he actually, well, you know what he does? Somebody told me that he actually gets his Indian food delivered to him to America from England. I believe it's Manchester. There's a special restaurant there which makes some of the best Indian food, and he's yeah. eaten there before, right? And he he loved it so much that he gets it delivered. By plane, can you believe that? Oh, really? That's, that's, that's how good awesome. some of the foods. That's that's how good some. So that's a huge benefit. You know what I mean? If you if you get people who love the food so much that get it delivered by plane to another continent, come on, man. You know. Yeah. Also, uh, in how, America, how can you say? Uh, sorry. Uh, also in America, is the same problem with the black people. Yeah, there was uh, uh, many problems there as well, yeah. and. Uh, with slavery in the past, we don't have to get into all yeah. of that. But there was great benefits there. I mean, they helped to build that nation. Do you know what I mean? A lot of yeah. hard labor went from them. You know what I mean? So yeah, cultural diversity is very important. All right, let's move on. And uh, I want to add something in it. Like cultural diversity um, uh, gives us a opportunity to know each other's culture and to yeah. like uh, to make something new, right? Absolutely, it broadens our understanding of other people's uh, cultures. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well done. And then we have uniqueness, cultural yes. uniqueness. Okay, who understands this? Uniqueness. Something which is special, right? So, yeah. the culture or customs which make a country distinctive <laughs> or, or different from other countries. So what what makes Brazil so special, Johnny? From other countries? Wow. Or unique? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's a great question. I don't know. Maybe we have a different cultures and stuff like that, so it's a diversity, you know. Mm. But there's always something about a country which is uh, unique or a culture. Yeah? yeah. Uh, Eric. Hello Eric. Are you with us? Morning, yo, Eric. I think Eric. Eric is from Norway, I believe. I spoke to him. He was in my class not long ago. Uh, what about China? What's unique about the Chinese culture? Oh, China is uh, is uh, not uh, democratic. Yeah. Not a democratic. I see. So it's like a communist country. That's unique. But there are other oh, countries yeah. like that, like Russia, perhaps. So oh. something. Let's not get into politics now. Uh, I love Russia. Yeah, I, I can think of one thing which China or the Chinese um, or the, the country itself is unique is the Chinese Great Wall, the Great Wall yeah. of China, right? Oh, that oh. nobody has that. No other country has that. That's unique. 
Mm. It's not necessarily cultural, but it's something wow. to do with the country which makes it unique, okay? It's very distinctive. Oh, teacher. Oh, teacher. Do you allow the Forbidden City? The Forbidden City, I heard about it, yeah. Oh. Everything that is in our home reminds us of China. And reminds us how unique it is. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> we love many... China, we love animations. There are many, yeah. yeah. Yeah, there are many, there are many things about China we can mention. You know, yeah. And, uh, um, Kung Fu is there. Yes, the martial arts, uh -huh. excellent. Kung Fu, martial arts, this is unique. It came from there, right? It originated. So that's something uh, awesome. Bruce Lee came yes, from yes. there. Come on, yeah. man. China becomes Come on, man. <laughs> Doesn't <laughs> Bruce Lee a Korean? No, he's from Hong Kong, I believe. Yes, uh, Jean? Yeah. Oh, I'm from... I'm from the mainland of China. Okay, but what about Bruce Lee? I think Bruce Lee's from Hong Kong. God damn it. He's uh, thinking. Right. Okay, look. So uniqueness, we understand uniqueness. Something yeah, which yeah, is yeah. unique and very distinctive about that, that cultural country. Okay, guys, we can keep going. There's a few more. Um, but we'll have to end it here because we've just crossed our line. And uh, so I hope some of these... Uh, cultural cultural meanings were helpful to us. I'll give you the link, guys. Yes, I'm going to give you the link. Somebody asked for it earlier. Was it Bogdan? Yeah. So here's the link. Please have a look at all of this. And uh, try to remember the, these, uh, the, these vocabulary words and uh, the meanings of them, yeah? So you understand whenever you're confronted with these... Um, cultural stereotypes or diversities, conflicts, you know, you understand what it means. Okay, yeah. guys. All right. It was a pleasure having you in my class. As always, uh, you're, you're very good students. <laughs> and uh, I, I, I'll look forward to seeing you we're, again. We're going to miss your classes. Uh, why do you no, go, what do you mean you're going to miss my classes? You're going to see me tomorrow no, and the next week. Tomorrow, the same time? Because they, 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 will <laughs> they will charge the classes uh, soon. Uh, oh, so what does that mean? You're gonna yeah, they're oh, going to charge $80. Yes, Everyone yes, they're going to start. But think about it, guys. Look, think about it. You know, now since we are... Uh, Colingo is making that big move. I mean, for a very long time, they've been giving free classes. So you yeah. don't take that for granted. You gotta, you gotta give thanks to that. You gotta thank them in a way because no other place on online does this or has done this. Yeah. So yeah. you've already, or you as students have benefited a lot. I mean, those who only found out recently, uh, uh, it's bad luck. But there have been students here who have come since last year, and they have, you know, they've mastered English for yeah. free. So there's a lot of students who, who, can, who have benefited. So now, uh, Colingo can't do this forever. I mean, they, need, they don't have money to... They need to they pay to, teachers. Exactly. I have to get paid. This is, my, this is my profession. I'm a teacher. So I have to be paid. And they can't keep paying us, the teachers, and not uh, getting any money coming in. So they have a budget. Yeah. And now the budget is you know, blown. So they need, to, blow. uh, they need to start charging. And this is... If you think about yeah, it... But, uh, Eighty dollars is so much <laughs> for but students. Then, but uh, wait, uh, but, sure. but there is there is like for fifteen or twenty days for a specific time you can have a subscription for forty dollars only. Yes, yes, I believe some of the teachers have already mentioned that. I have to give yeah. you the link. There's a link that uh, I should be giving but you. Maybe I can give wait, you. Yeah, eighty dollars for a year like or no, eighty dollars a month. No, yeah, it's eighty dollars a month. <laughs> But the thing is, but you, you have un so much. Un unlimited access to all the all the classes. You will have one on one, one yeah, on one yeah, teacher, and uh, weekly assessments. So imagine if you do this for three months, you're gonna be uh, huge, making a huge step forward in your English yeah. advancement. I mean, how else will you learn? You wanna teach yourself? You know, it's it's kind of difficult. But then again, sure. if you don't have but the they, money, they could make it like. They could make it like it stay like uh, uh, as it is, but they make uh, one to one uh, classes for for a price. No, I mean uh, we will for be able classes, to watch one, those. One, one to one. No, you know Dr. I mean? Serene, actually, we would be able to uh, we will be able to watch the recording.